Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. How to determine product density. Verifying your spread pattern accuracy is the first step in using your spreader. Knowing an accurate product density is essential part of the process. First, check your product appearance. Is it uniform in size and weight? Material with clumps will cause streaking and will not give a good spread pattern. Take some fertilizer out of your hopper and fill a cup. Pour the fertilizer into the cup. When the cup is full, flatten it off. Now level your scale using the bubble. Read the mark to determine the pounds per cubic foot. The wrong way to use the density scale. Don't tap or shake the cup while filling. Use your scale the same way every time to be consistent. It is a good idea to check your product density on every load because it can change from one load to another even in a single shipment. If your product density is incorrect, your gate setting will be correct. This means you will not be spreading the correct pounds to the acre. The density scale is sold as part of a spread pattern test kit or it can be purchased separately from Newton Crouch Inc. This video is part of a series on how to perform a spread pattern test with your dry fertilizer spreader. Also view our pan placement series with instructions on how to set up the center pass, the S pass, and the extended range pattern test. The instructions in this video are in your operator's manual. Your manual was made specifically for your unit. The Newton Crouch website also has this information. Go to www.newtoncrouch.com. The support tab and technical support tab will take you to the dry section where this information is available. Visit us on YouTube. We are continually adding new tips. Proudly made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch, Inc.